95 Honda Accord. I'm getting a brake lamp indicator light, warning light at the base of the tachometer. You'll see it come on when I press the brake pedal. That's telling me something's not right with the brake light system. It's usually a burnout bulb, so I'm going to check out the brake lights and see what's up. All right, there's a problem. Passenger side brake light is out, so let's check it out. Hopefully it's just a burnout bulb. To get to the bulb, just pop your trunk, and then right on the back side of the tail light, there's a little access door, so we'll take that off, and then we can check out the bulb. To get this access panel off, just turn this little knob to the left counterclockwise and you can get the panel off. This is backup light bulb, the light that comes on when you put your car in reverse. This is turn signal bulb and this bulb is brake light and tail light. There are two filaments within this one bulb, so this bulb serves two purposes. To get the, the base out of the tail light assembly, turn it to the left. There are little tabs on the top and bottom counterclockwise. Then you can get the bulb out. And I can see right away there's a piece of the brake light filament loose down in the bottom. You can see it there in the glass. And the glass is also discolored. And that comes from, you can see how it's kind of a charcoal gray color. That color comes from when the filament burns out. It creates a little bit of smoke inside and that stains the glass. That smoke stains the glass. So I know I have a burnout bulb. It's going to be an easy fix. Some other things that may trip that brake lamp indicator light, your bulb may just be loose. If it looks like you have a good bulb, there's no discoloration and no burnout filaments, you can try wiggling the bulb to see if it just worked its way loose, you know, bouncing around as normal operation of the car. Or if you pull the bulb out, grab the base in one hand, bulb in the other. You'll see these metal contacts inside. You can take a piece of sandpaper like I have folded over and just reach down in there and sand down those contacts to get to some fresh metal, some bare metal. Sometimes that's your problem. And improving the contact will make the bulb work again. But I obviously have a burnout bulb. For a 95 Accord, bulb number 7443. Universal bulb number. This just happens to be Sylvania brand, but whatever brand you buy, you're looking for a 7443 and make sure that your bulb has two filaments, tail light and brake light. And again, this is a 95 Accord. That makes it a fifth generation Accord. Fifth generation ran from 94 to 97. So if you have an Accord between those years, this is the bulb configuration you should see. It's just like this on the driver's side. Same access panel, same configuration. Right, so fifth generation Accord, tail light, brake light, you need 7443. Now, let's check one more thing on the old light. Let's put the old light back in because I'm curious as to whether or not the tail light still works. We know the brake lights burn out, but I'm gonna check the tail light by turning the headlights on. And the tail light is good. Brake light filament burnt out, tail light filament is good, but we still have to replace it. Otherwise the brake lights aren't gonna work. Now to reinstall the new bulb, doesn't matter which way you put it in, meaning it's gonna snap in that way or if you pulled it out, spin it around, it snaps in that way as well. There's no wrong way to put it in. Just give it a little push and it'll snap right in. And then to get the base back into the tail light assembly, there are three tabs on the base. They line up with three holes in the tail light assembly. You just put the bulb back through the hole. Then you might have to fiddle with it a little bit until you feel that base go flat against the tail light, which it is right there. And then you turn it to the right and it'll snap into place and we're good. To reinstall the cover, these two tabs go right back in the holes, push it into place, and then turn this to the right or clockwise. All right, so now we're gonna check out brake lights and tail lights since we know that that one bulb controls both. Checking tail lights and brake lights, tail lights first. I'm gonna cut on the headlights, that'll cause the tail lights to come on. And there we go, we're good. Now I'm gonna wedge down the brake pedal with this stick. You'll see these same lights light up brighter as that second filament within that one bulb that we replaced. That brake light filament lights up and these will get brighter. And that upper brake light will also come on. And awesome, we're good. That's how easy it is to replace a brake light bulb on a 95 Accord. Again, which makes it a fifth generation Accord which ran from 94 to 97. So if you have an Accord between 94 and 97, this should be exactly what you're looking at. Brake light wise, turn signal wise, everything. The, the bulb configuration should be the same, but any older Accord, Civic, 
Odyssey Prelude, any older Honda, this should be good information for you. So if that warning light indicator, that brake lamp warning indicator shows up on your dash, get it addressed immediately. That's a safety issue. That's a liability issue. It's a reason for police to pull you over. And who wants that? If you don't want to do it yourself, if you go to Advanced Auto, AutoZone, O'Reilly's, if you buy the bulb from them, they will install it for free. So that's another route you can go. Or do it yourself. It's as easy as what you saw in this video. All right, so hope it helps you out. Good luck if you try it.